Hi guys, you know where I am if you've seen a few of my other videos. If you've never seen any of my other videos, I'm West Country Explorer. Uh, I've just been to Hinton St Mary. Um, was it Hinton St Mary? Yeah, Hint doing a video on cut mills. On my way to Sherborne to do another couple of videos. And I spotted as I was cycling along an old church. As you can see the sign behind me, historic church. So I thought I'll just have a quick stop and do a bit of recording, a bit of video. At this precise moment in time, don't know any information about this church, don't know any history about it, haven't Googled it or anything like that. So what I'll do is when I get home, I'm going to Google it, find out some history and I'll put the history in the um, description. But anyway, guys, let's go do a video. Yeah, so there's the road I was just cycling along. Just parked my bike there a sec. And this is the Diddy Little Church. Uh, I don't know if we can get in. It'd be flipping lovely if we can get in. If not, I'll just have to do a bit of recording from the outside. <laughs> yeah, probably already guess it might be a bit of a short video. Old St Cuthbert's Chancel. And this is, um, I think we're in the Osborne area. Not far from Sherborne. So I'm gonna, like I said, find out. Oh, actually, oh, look at that, you beauty. You beauty, we can get in. Doors open. All right then. St Cuthbert's Church. Church's Conversation Trust. Blah blah blah. So yeah. What I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna walk around the outside and go inside. Bit of a shame there's a noisy road, but hey ho. Uh, these uh, gravestones look a bit ruined. Don't know if anyone actually comes here to tan them. I mean, these these people are buried here. I wonder if the descendants ever come and maintain them or anything like that. Actually, that makes me think about some of my ancestors, sort of like three, four generations back, all buried in Rockhampton, South Gloucestershire. I mean, I can't remember the last time I went to Rockhampton Church, they are, to see the graves. But I don't know, <laughs> unless like sort of two, three, maybe four generations back, and we're not really going to attend the graves as such. So yeah, when you get buried, how long is it before your descendants stop coming to the graves, you know? It's, yeah, it makes you think, makes you think. But look at that. Uh, interesting. Oh, oops, sorry. Do apologise, stood on that gravestone. Right, in we go, guys. Wow, this is... Ooh. Is that kind of tiles from the church or something? Looks a very old door, that, doesn't it? Got some more stuff. That's a 
christening font? Would that be a font for christening little babies? Can you see the Ten Commandments? Yeah, oh, look at that. They are banging your coat. Oh, oh, yeah. That looks a bit rickety. Yeah. Not sure I've, I've saved it to stand up on here. Preach to the congregation. Right, dive back down again. No, oh, I was flipping out. Was that stonework I was knocking off? There we go. <laughs> that looks like the base of something. Not sure what that is. Underneath this stone lies a body of somebody or other. Was that 1793? Oh. There you go, that's quite old, isn't it? There's a little side door out right here. Oh. Oh, there you go, guys. Old St. Cuthbert's Chancel. It's a short, sweet little video. But quite a nice little discovery. And definitely worth having. If you're in the area and passing by, got a couple of minutes, I'd say definitely worth stopping to have a little look around if, this, if churches and chancels are your kind of thing. But yeah, I'm glad I stopped and very enjoyable. Nice little mix around and definitely gonna to have to see if I can find out any information on the place any history definitely gonna look into that so any history I do manage to find out I'm gonna whack it in the description like down below so have a little read of that and yeah well guys hope you enjoyed it and the usual as always stay safe take care and God bless guys <laughs>